I'm Tasha and welcome to my channel. How are you guys doing on a 30 day gratitude challenge? I am so grateful that you guys are watching this video and I'm just so grateful for the week that I've had. I have been learning a lot about my plants. You know, last week I had went to the coffee and conversations and I had got two plants free also i had took one plant and she showed me you know how to care for it and so this week i have just been learning a lot about my plants and so today i want to show you guys one how i'm gonna pot the two that i had got for free two i'm gonna show you when you are pruning your plants sometimes you might a leaf might come off but you don't want to get rid of those you want to propagate those so that you don't have to necessarily purchase new plants but you know duplicate the ones that you already have especially if you really like them and then three I was telling you guys that I had a African violet but I had mixed up which one was African violet and which one was not but we'll get into that if this is the first time that you are coming to this channel please subscribe we talk about travel, plants, your credit score, and whatever else I'm thinking about. <laughs> Let's get started. All right, you guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just damaged, look what I did. Right here. Can you see that? The camera fell on it and it broke. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have to cut that off I'm just like, man, how did that happen? Okay, so I was telling you guys that this and this and this, those are all the same. I was saying that that was an African violet, but it's actually not. They call it a wandering Jew. There's another name for it, but I can't pronounce it, so I'll just put it on the screen. But look how pretty these are. It's just like this pretty violet color. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. And then you can see right here, these are the newer ones, cause you can see those are purple and those are green. So this one I recently potted and what I did, I had propagated it in water. It had fell off of this one. And so then I just put it in water and then I potted it. So it's actually doing really good. And then this one, actually one of my coworkers, she gave it to me. And then here it is, I done damaged it already. So <laughs> I'm just so sad about that. And then this one, you can see how big it is. But earlier this week when I was pruning it and kind of moving it around, cause it really just grows so fast a piece of the leaf fell off and so I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in water and propagate it but this one over here you guys this is actually a African violet that is an African violet so I had it all wrong but these are beautiful. So I would say if you are new to plants, especially like house plants, this is one that I would say for you to get because you cannot go wrong. This is a very easy plant. But one thing that I found out is that you have to actually water it every couple of days. So let me show you how we're gonna propagate it or the one that I'm already doing, hold on. All right guys, here are the two pothos plants that I got from the Coffee and Conversations. And look at these cute bottles that they put them in. Those are so cute. And if I take this one out, you can see where it's rooting. And then this one right here, it's not rooting as much because I think it's not all the way in the water. So I might need to get a bigger uh, water pot to put it in. But this one is ready. 
Look at that root. Oh, that's pretty. That is ready. So we're gonna get our pots and we are going to, I'm gonna plant this one. And then we're gonna go from there and I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna put this one in a bigger um, water pot. All right guys, I have my planter and I have a little bit of dirt in there. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put a little bit more dirt in there. And I'm gonna take it out. And then we're gonna put it in here, in this planter. And then I'm gonna pour dirt in it. Let's put some more. Let's really get it packed in there. And then I'm just gonna push it down. I'm gonna add a little bit more dirt. Get it in there real good. Add a little bit more. And then this is just potting soil mix that I'm adding in here that I got from Home Depot. All right, that looks good to me. Look at that. So now I'm gonna water it. I'm gonna use this water. And then this is one similar to it, or in the family that I previously had. And look how that one is growing. You can see right here is a new leaf that's coming up. <laughs> that is so pretty. So yeah. So there we go. That one is planted, and then I'll use this one for the other one. I'll use this planter for the other one, but I'm going to let it root a little bit more. And then I will show you guys the progress that it's making within, um, we'll give it a few weeks and see how it goes. Because me, I'm really good about taking care of plants, but you know actually rooting them and planting them sometimes can be a little bit tricky but i'm learning and it's nothing wrong with you know trying it out that's the only way that you're gonna learn i think that these are really good plants to get these usually you know you can just put your finger in there and put it down in there maybe about an inch this one still feels a little moist on the inside Although kind of on the top, it looks a little bit dry, but on the inside, it feels still moist. So I'll wait a little bit. But what I want to get is one of those moisture readers so that I can make sure that I'm not overwatering it. But let's take a look at some of my... All right, here we go, guys. So we're in my living room. And here is where my plants are. <laughs> and this is the one right here that I just planted. And I'm gonna have to find a spot for it because I have a full house. This one is the African Violet. And so this one right here, this is the one that I was having some issues with and look at this one over here it's growing 
so they are doing really good i am so happy this one is looking a lot more healthy so i feel like once i put that fertilizer in there this one looks a little bit more green to me even though there are still a few brown tips on it but they are looking really good so good but now I gotta find some space for this one I think what I'm gonna do is move that one over and then just sit it here for the time being and then I will let me move this back there we go and there we have it plant life <laughs> all right guys i really appreciate you guys for watching let me know what you think and if you can get you a wandering jew this one right here they are the easiest plant to take care of in about a week or two i will show you how me rooting propagating those wandering juice that fell off i will let you guys know how those are doing and we will probably pot those so i thank you so much for watching i hope you guys are doing the gratitude challenge let me know in the comments if you are doing the gratitude challenge thank you so much for watching